Hi guys, it's Claris and welcome to another tutorial with me. Um, today we are going to do a tutorial on uh, loose pumpkins. This tutorial was previously done in 2018 and uh, back then I shot it sideways because of lighting issues and posted it sideways and then figured out that I was giving a lot of physio and chiropractors some business. So we're redoing this tutorial all over again so you guys can view it properly this time. So to start off, I just have a small sheet of uh, my Canson watercolor paper. I figured this is good enough to show you how it's done. And then we can enhance on this during our Sunday live painting session. Uh, for colors, I am using my Titan Red, um, Golden, uh, English Red, and then Red Ochre. And for brushes, I'm going to be using my uh, Da Vinci Mop Brush. And I'll also be using some of my, uh, I mean, my Silver Black Velvet in the four. So let's begin. I have my water ready and I have my paper towel ready as well. And we can start. So the first thing I'm going to do is just wet my brush and I am going to go in and get uh, some of my base color, which is going to be the golden, uh, because this is the closest to the pumpkin color that we have. I'm gonna get some color directly from it, and I am going to go ahead and compose a pumpkin right over here. So we're doing the arc strokes, and we're gonna make sure that we leave a lot of white space in, um, in this painting as well. So, I'm going to do my quick arc stroke just like this, pressing down my uh, brush to kind of get a good lay of color and then pushing the color down and slightly upward to kind of make sure it goes all over the place. And then once I have this, I'm going to go in um, and just dip my brush, there's just the tip of it into the water and I'm going to create another stroke on this side and leaving the center kind of open, pushing the color to the edges. And then finally, I'm gonna go ahead and do one stroke in the center, but I'm leaving white space in there as well. All right, now once I've done this, I'm gonna go ahead and use the same brush and I'm gonna get some of my uh, I believe this is the Titan Red and I'm just gonna go ahead and do a stroke here off to the side while this is still damp and then I'm gonna do another one on this side here and then just to the edges of where the three folds meet and this is going to act as the shadow, the darker area. All right, and now once this is done, I'm gonna take my number four and I'm gonna get some of my, I'm gonna introduce the sepia for the stump at the top. And so I'm just getting some of that sepia on here. And while it's still damp, I'm just gonna enhance and create the little stump that goes with it. So dip your dip the tip of the brush into the water, get your nice flowy watercolor happening and then just have it then just place the stump however you like at the top. Leave some white space here and there. Have the water kind of seep in at the bottom into the pumpkin and we are good. Um, and then what I also want to do on top of this is using the number, yeah, number one mop brush, I'm just washing off all the color from it and with just water, I'm just gonna take, I'm just gonna touch the edge of this and just pull it out because I want, this is a loose style of watercolor and I wanna use 
the excess water that I have here to kind of have the color bleed out and kind of flow any which direction you want it to flow. It's just like so satisfying to watch. Now once this is done, you want to enhance and just give some of the pumpkin a little more detail. And so I'm going to use my uh, English Red for that. And I'm just getting some of the color and I'm just going to kind of add some strokes while it is still damp. It needs to be damp because if it's not damp, you're not going to get the same effect. Uh, you want it to be seeping in nicely and giving it that nice um, cauliflowered effect, I think it's called, uh, where it kind of just seeps in and blends in and um, yeah, it just mixes in nicely with the rest of your pumpkin painting and it just adds an extra dimension to it. So I'm just kind of moving the color around and having it kind of seep in nicely and there we go. We are done with it. We don't want to do anything else more because uh, this is a loose style of painting. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing all over again uh, and this time I am going to have the pumpkin go slightly sideways like it's tipping over. Uh, so again, we are starting off with the number one mop and I'm going to get some of my golden and oops, got some water on here and I'm just going to have my stroke go like this, dipping it in water to get a lighter color. I'm going to do another one in the center. And then finally one off to the side. Notice the white space that I'm leaving as well. And now once I have that, I'm just going to dip the same brush into the, uh, this is Titan Red, I believe. And we are going to go ahead and add one stroke here while it is damp, another stroke in the center, and then one more off to the side here. And you just, the whole point of this is to kind of have a nice blend of rich oranges kind of seeping in to create our pumpkin and in a very loose manner. And so back to the number four and I'm gonna get some of my Sienna and I'm just going to create the stump for this one here. Again, you want to have it seeping in um, to the other color, so make sure you do touch the orange as you're doing the sienna on here. That's nice. Just add a little bit of darker sienna if you wish. And then what you can also do is just add some nice little curls. Kind of reminds me of like Cinderella, right? If you wish, you don't have to. It's just nice to kind of have, I guess. Give it your own whimsical look. And I'm just trying to see where else I want to see this curl happen. Maybe just one here. And then just maybe just one off like that, yeah. And yes, finally we're going to go back in and get some of the English Red. And I believe the last time I used number four, so let's use the number four, get some of the English Red. And while this is still damp, let's add some of that English Red onto the area so that it blends in nicely. and gives it a nice enough cauliflower blend, I guess, if you want to call it. There we go. And then finally, we are going to go back in with the mop and do that extension so we have a nice bleed of color. And 
you can have some in there as well. And if the bleed isn't flowing as per your liking, just take your paper towel and you can wipe it off or dab it off rather, not wipe it off. Like if there's water pooling, like there's a bit of water pooling here for me. So I'm just gonna lightly dab. Yeah, and there we go. We have our cute little pumpkins. So uh, practice these so that for Sunday we can uh, use the same technique that we've done here and enhance it a bit more um, by adding a couple of florals and uh, composing a pretty fall picture, I guess. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, short and sweet. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys have, uh, what you guys think. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise. I will see you on Sunday for our live tutorial and uh, feel free to bring all the questions or issues that you may have uh, during the live chat. So thanks so much for watching guys. Um, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Send me your images. I love seeing your work. Uh, share with me how your journey in watercolor is going. Thanks for watching. Bye.